Elixir Sulfanilamide, Wikipedia Audio Elixir sulfanilamide was an improperly prepared sulfanilamide medicine that caused mass poisoning in the United States in 1937. It caused the deaths of more than 100 people. The public outcry caused by this incident and other similar disasters led to the passing of the 1938 Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. Aside from the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906 and the Harrison Act of 1914 banning the sale of some narcotic drugs, there was no federal regulatory control in the United States of America ensuring the safety of new drugs until Congress enacted the 1938 Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act in response to the elixir sulfanilamide poisoning crisis. In 1937, S. E. Massengill Company, a pharmaceutical manufacturer, created a preparation of sulfanilamide using diethylene glycol as a solvent, and called the preparation elixir sulfanilamide. DEG is poisonous to humans and other mammals, but Harold Watkins, the company's chief pharmacist and chemist, was not aware of this. Watkins simply added raspberry flavoring to the sulfa drug which he had dissolved in DEG and the company then marketed the product. Animal testing was not required by law, and Massengill performed none, there were no regulations requiring pre-market safety testing of new drugs. History The company started selling and distributing the medication in September 1937. By October 11, the American Medical Association received a report of several deaths caused by the medication. The Food and Drug Administration was notified, and an extensive search was conducted to recover the distributed medicine. Francis Oldham Kelsey assisted on a research project that verified that the excipient DEG was responsible for the fatal adverse effects. At least 100 deaths were blamed on the medication. The owner of the company, when pressed to admit some measure of culpability, infamously answered, We have been supplying a legitimate professional demand and not once could have foreseen the unlooked for results. I do not feel that there was any responsibility on our part. Watkins, the chemist, committed suicide while awaiting trial. A woman wrote to U.S. President Roosevelt and described the death of her daughter, the first time I ever had occasion to call in a doctor for and she was given elixir of sulfanilamide. All that is left to us is the caring for her little grave. Even the memory of her is mixed with sorrow for we can see her little body tossing to and fro and hear that little voice screaming with pain and it seems as though it would drive me insane. It is my plea that you will take steps to prevent such sales of drugs that will take little lives and leave such suffering behind and such a bleak outlook on the future as I have tonight. Congress responded to public outrage by passing the 1938 Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act, which required companies to perform animal safety tests on their proposed new drugs and submit the data to the FDA before being allowed to market their products. The Massengill Company paid a minimum fine under provisions of the 1906 Pure Food and Drugs Act, which prohibited labeling the preparation an elixir if it had no alcohol in it. 